Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to do a uh, get ready with me. I was thinking about doing a first impression on this palette from Blush Tribe. It's the Full Fusion palette. But this is not available anymore, so I didn't want to make a first impression and uh, a review video on it because you can't buy this anymore. So I'm going to do uh, get ready with me and try it for the first time and if you want me to do a review on it even though it's not available anymore you can comment down below and I will fix that but I want to try this and I want to try it on camera so I'm going to but it's not going to be like a video only about this palette I'm just going to use it in this video but I will not do a real first impression. I will do a get ready with me. One thing I can say about the palette is this sleeve, what it's called, it's so freaking tight. I heard adults have the same problem. I almost can't get the palette out. I don't know why she did this, but it's super tight. Okay, so I'm just going to talk, use the palette, but not talk about the palette. And I don't know which colors. I was... The palette looks like this, if you did not know. I wanted to use like these colors, but I just made a look with the same colors. Almost the same colors. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to use this and this maybe. Maybe that can be a fun look. So if you want me to do a review video on this video. This video. Yeah. Do you want me to review my own video? If you want me to make a review on this palette. I can put a card up here in the corner and you can vote. Um... So yeah, I will start with something, I've talked about this in one of my Will I Buy It videos and this is a primer spray from Kix, I really like this one, I have never tried a primer spray before but this one is really good so you just spritz it all over your face, I don't know if to shake it, it doesn't say but I usually shake it a little bit and this suits my dry skin perfectly. It's very sticky and I like it, I think it feels good and it works super good with my primers and it feels nice to have a little spritz. So I'm gonna start with the eye makeup. One thing I wanted to talk about a little bit is I'm... If you have followed me um, before and about a year ago each December, I think it's been three years maybe, I have opened my body shop Christmas calendar here on my channel. I have opened it once a week on Sundays through December and showed what I have been given that week in the calendar, what I've gotten. And I don't know if I'm going to do this this year or not. I know there is a lot of channels that open whole calendar at once. I'm not that person. I save my calendar and do it in the right way. And I don't know if I'm going to do that this year or not. I haven't decided. Um, but I have the calendar and yeah. And I'm thinking to buy maybe one more calendar. I don't know from what calendar? I had Lumiene and NYX uh, 24 Lippy Countdown last year. And the calendar from Body Shop, my boyfriend, always give that to me each year. But the other two I bought myself last year and I'm thinking about doing that this year also. if. 
they are and left at like some couple days in December then they usually have them on sale and if they are on sale I think I'm going to buy at least Lumiene because I really like their skincare but if they're not I'm not going to buy it at full price and I was thinking about buying Rituals calendar but I didn't because I don't like everything they do. I don't like every scent that they have and every series. And uh, I think it's too much money. The body shop, I like almost everything. The only series I don't like is the hemp series. I can't stand that smell, it's too much for me. But all the others I like so. And I like the body shop as a brand. So I don't know if I'm going to do it last year and the year before and the year before I think. To open them once a week. I have to see if I have time and the motivation to. And I also want to talk a little bit about that. I talked about it in my will I buy it video. That my motivation right now, it's not that good. <laughs> For me, I think it's because it's autumn, it's getting dark. In Sweden, it gets dark like, I think the sun is going down at 6 p.m. And it's only going down earlier and earlier each day. And, and yeah. I, I don't like that. And... I have studio lighting, but I always film with daylight. I like it the most, but I think I have to take out my studio lights and find a place where I can film. Oh my god, I like this eyeshadow. Because I have my makeup in my bedroom, as you can see, and this is not the fun background, I know that, but if I'm going to have the background with my makeup, it's a window behind you, so I don't think that would be any good, but I don't know yet, I maybe have to test that one. I think I'm going to test it later tonight, or later today, I can just pull down the curtains and uh, you can see our nice black curtain instead the curtain it's I don't know it's a rullgardin the one to make it dark when you sleep um, and I am thinking about putting up a backdrop but I don't know where to put this backdrop because our bedroom is not a big room. You see, the bed is here and the door is there and the wall is there. So it's not so much space in here. And I was thinking about hanging the backdrop here, up in the ceiling and down, but then I don't know where to put the lighting, the lights, because the table is here. So it's a little bit struggle for me. I don't know how to film with my studio lights, but I am going to try some things later today, I think. I have like eyeshadow everywhere on my fingers, so this is not going so good. Okay, this I have used... I Now I said I'm not going to talk about this palette, but I can't not talk about it. So I used Fire Pit in my crease and then I used October. Love that shade. It's I thought it was a little bit more brown, but on the eyes it's <laughs> it's more red. And then I used Paulina. Uh, that's named after Paulina's Beauty here on YouTube. I think that's really cool. And that I'm using on my inner corner and I really like this. 
take more after October. It's some fallouts from this palette, but I I think for you it looks like the same color almost. But for me, I can see it's two different colors. Okay, so half of the eyes are finished and I am going to do my base. And I don't know what more to talk about right now. How are you feeling during the autumn? I know a lot of people get a little bit down at autumn, including me. Um, so how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Or are you feeling more sad than usual or are you the kind of person that feels the same all year around in one way i like the autumn because i am i am not a fan of hot weather this summer i almost couldn't take it i am so happy that I worked during the hottest days because I work inside thanks god and I was so glad for that that I didn't have to go out when it was the hottest weather because I can't stand hot weather I'm going to do a um, tea time about when me and my boyfriend were in on Iceland this summer. Maybe that's already up, I don't know. And Iceland was my kind of country, my kind of weather and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in that video. But this year I think it was the best decision ever to go to Iceland because the weather was perfect for me. I like it when it's like 20 degrees outside that I can live with, but like this summer it was like over 30 degrees. I think here I think we have one of the hottest days, it was like 36 degrees. And that's crazy hot and we don't have air conditioning in Sweden, um, in homes. Some homes have, but it's not standard because it's usually not that hot. But this summer was freaking crazy. And I almost wanted to not be here anymore. It was too hot for a little me. Okay, the foundation is on. So I like this weather more, but I don't like the the darkness that comes with it. When it's the worst here in the winter, it's dark when I go to work and it's dark when I get home from work and I don't work crazy hours. I start a quarter to seven in the morning and my planned time is a quarter past three in the afternoon but um, I usually end, uh, end like four and that's not crazy but in the winter time it's I don't know how it's when the when it's the worst with daylight maybe the sun is up for like four hours per day and that is not fun to be in. Now I'm using the ColourPop concealer and I talked about this in my Monthly favorite for September. I really like this with the Infinity Filter by Linda Holberg because 
this concealer as you can see it's super light but the powder darkens it a bit so it suits me if I use these two together and I have to look like this I really like this powder but if I'm going to use it all over my face I have to make my foundation a little bit too light for it to work because it's darkened down my foundation a little bit I'm a little bit sad about that because I really like this powder but it works like this now it just looks a little bit strange because I have set it under my eyes but not in my face and I have started to notice another thing with me I think I am I'm getting sensitive eyes I have never had any troubles at all with makeup but I think my eyes are sensitive to different mascaras and even though I open a new one my eyes are like watering I use this right now it's a grand volume lash color from Isadora but I can have my eyeshadow on but then I put the mascara on and my eyes they start to not itching but they feel a little bit irritating and a little bit watery so and this is not old so I am testing a new mascara also from Isadora it's a big bold super volumizing and I'm going to test this new one and if this not work I'm going to buy one of these hypoallergenic mascara that is made for sensitive eyes but I don't know why my eyes is getting sensitive I have never ever had any troubles at all with my eyes before so I don't know what's up with my eyes I really like this eye look even though it's a little bit pink and I usually don't go for pink eyeshadows or blush it's really good now I have foundation all over my septum ring okay I don't know what to talk about more anymore and it feels like this maybe is a long as video as always I tend to do longer videos but I like to look at longer videos the most of the time like this six minutes videos that somebody are doing some some people are doing I don't like that I want longer videos because if I'm going to look at a video I want to do something I usually do something while I'm looking at a video maybe do the dishes or make food or have an eye mask on or something so I don't like this shorter videos and I tend to do long videos myself but sometimes I feel like I have to shorten them down a little bit so I am going to fix the rest of my face and I will do it off cam and I will end this video here because I I don't know what more to talk about so if you want a review of this palette even though it's not available anymore you can vote up in the card if you want it or not I am going to do more reviews on my channel I am not good at doing reviews and I have only done like one I think one or two and I need to do more because I like to watch them and maybe you too so I think I have to start doing reviews and if you want on this one vote up in the card so I know I have lots of other palettes I can do reviews on but if you want on this one even though it's not available anymore let me know so I will end this video here I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one Bye!